Hello, everyone. My name is Danielle Allen. I'm the Senior Director of Education and Community Engagement for the Philadelphia Orchestra and Kimmel Center Incorporated. Um, I'll be joined in a little bit by the school district's Chief Communications Officer, Monique Braxton. Um, but on behalf of myself, Monique, and everyone here at the Philadelphia Orchestra and Kimmel Center, Inc., we want to welcome you. We're absolutely thrilled to have you all here for the 2023 All City High School Music Festival. Give yourselves a round of applause for being with us today. So the All City Philadelphia Music Program has been a distinguished school district tradition for over 70 years. It is comprised of the best young musicians in the school district of Philadelphia, including 81 students in the All City Band, 105 students in All City Orchestra, 266 students in All City Choir. So we've got a lot of students here today. They audition every year to be part of the All City, this amazing group, excuse me, of talented and dedicated musicians and vocalists. This year, they represent 19 schools across the city and come together for the opportunity to learn and play all that they can from one another, from their conductors and teachers, and from the enrichment opportunities that are provided to them. Over the years, All City has produced some of our nation's best musicians who have performed nationally and internationally, including many past and present members of the Philadelphia Orchestra, some of whom are here with us this evening. The performing arts hold an important place in the curriculum of the School District of Philadelphia. This night is the culmination of intense rehearsal throughout the year, representing the school district's most advanced levels of instrumental and vocal music achievement. Before we get started, there are a few people who would like to welcome you here as well, starting with Dr. Tony Watlington, the superintendent of the School District of Philadelphia. Let's give him a round of applause as he comes out. Uh, good evening. Uh, I want to say first, I'm very excited to be here. Believe it or not, it's my first time here at the Kimmel Center. A very special occasion, and this is a very phenomenal city, and we are blessed to have such phenomenal students and performers. So let's give them a round of applause. And as such, Managing Director Wesner, I can think of no better way to spend an evening than celebrating these very fine young people uh, and a night of music. I'm elated uh, to see the amazing performances tonight at tonight's All City High School Music Festival. Just pause and think for a moment. This very fine Kimmel Facility Center is home to many artists around the world. And it's so exciting to see our students in the School District of Philadelphia to grace the stage tonight. So a very special thank you to Drs. Cornette and Dilworth and guest conductors Conyers and McFadden, McFadden for lending your talents to our young people. You are certainly role models and uh, to be emulated. So parents, congratulations on the accomplishments of your children who make us all very, very proud. Let's give them another round of applause. And then finally, thank you for making time in your, your schedules to be here to celebrate our young people. Now sit back and enjoy the performances. Good evening. All right, when I was out here the first time, I forgot one very important piece of business. I forgot to introduce myself as a proud alumna of the Philadelphia High School for Girls. <laughs> so now that that is out of the way, it's very important. I have to let people know that. Um, thank you so much, Dr. Watlington. We're so happy to have you here with us tonight. Next, I want to introduce you all to the executive director of the Philadelphia Orchestra and Kimmel Center, Inc., Mr. Ryan Fleur. Good evening, everyone, and thank you all for being here. I'm Ryan Fleur, Executive Director of the Philadelphia Orchestra and Kimmel Center. 
Tonight's a very special evening. It's an opportunity to be inspired by talented young musicians and vocalists from our city. Our mission at the Philadelphia Orchestra and Kimmel Center is to share the transformative power of the performing arts and arts education with the widest possible audience. We are honored to live up to our mission tonight and through our long-term partnership with the School District of Philadelphia. The Orchestra and Kimmel Center's presentation of the All City Festival is part of our continuing relationship with the School District. And through our programming, we are finding opportunities to invite our teachers and students into this beautiful concert hall as much as possible. The orchestra aspires to convene unique and diverse voices to the Verizon Hall stage. Nowhere is that more imperative than right here at home with our city students, especially these students on stage who will be the next generation of musicians to come from Philadelphia. So with generous support from the William Penn Foundation, Wells Fargo, and PICO, we're able to provide this high quality programming with All City. So before we begin tonight, I just want to make sure you're all aware of the Philadelphia Orchestra's Apple program. Through Apple, any Philadelphia School District teacher or administrator may attend orchestra concerts for free. Details are sent out through the school district, but I hope to see many of you back here and often. And just a couple of thank yous before leaving the stage. First, Philadelphia Orchestra Principal Bass, Assistant Principal Bass, Joseph Conyers, who's the founder of Project 440, and of course, the leader of the All City Orchestra. Next, uh, yes. Next, Dr. Frank Makos, Executive Director of the School District's Office of the Arts and Creative Learning and Nathan Wes Wesner, Director of Music at the Office of the Arts. Thank you, uh, Dr. Makos and Nathan, for your continued dedication to this partnership. And a warm welcome to the School District Superintendent, Dr. Tony Watling Watlington. Dr. Watlington, thank you for coming to our home, and I hope you'll come back many times. And last, but certainly not least, a special thanks to all of the teachers who work tirelessly in service of these students. You are the true heroes of this city. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ryan. Oh, he's tall. I've got to bring it back down. So we have a really fun night ahead of us, so we want to get started. Um, before we bring on our first conductor, let's let the band tune. Band, you want to tune up now? Maybe. introducing the Philadelphia All City Band Director, Dr. Patricia Cornett. Dr. Cornett has been the All City Band Director for four years. Dr. Cornett is currently the Director of Bands at the Temple University Boyer College of Music and Dance, where she conducts the Wind Symphony and teaches advanced conducting. Prior to joining us in Philadelphia, she was Director of Bands at California State University Fullerton in sunny California. She has an extensive history supporting secondary music education, having previously worked at Essex High School in Essex Junction, Vermont from 2007 to 2010. There she conducted three concert bands, jazz band, and taught courses in guitar and history of rock. She was also the director of instrumental music at Woodland Regional High School in Beacon Falls, Connecticut from 2003 to 2005. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Patricia Cornett and the All City Concert Band.
Thank you so much. Um, this is honestly one of my favorite nights of the year. This festival, this celebration of months of hard work by these fabulous students sitting behind me. Um, and it has been such a pleasure to be able to be back fully in person this year and have all of our scheduled rehearsals, except for the one where I had COVID, but um, all the other ones we had. And um, we have just made such great progress since we first started meeting in December of this past year. And um, our program tonight, I have, the way I've been thinking about it is old, new, and timeless. And the first two pieces on our program are older band pieces, sort of standards in the repertoire. As you heard, we opened with a, a march. The next piece we're going to play for you is even older than that. It's actually a piece by Brahms, not originally written for band, but it's been transcribed for band. And it's from the German Requiem. And the title of this particular section of the Requiem is called Blessed Are They. And um, this is a really you know, beautiful piece of music, originally meant for orchestra and choir. But as you'll hear, it works very well for band as well. So this is the Brahms Blessed Are They from a German Requiem.
That was beautiful. Really, really beautiful. All right, at this time, I'm going to introduce Mr. Michael Franchetti, assistant conductor of the concert band. Yeah, you know I'm clapping for him. <laughs> A native Philadelphian, Michael Franchetti received his initial trumpet lessons at Lowell Elementary and later attended Central High School, where he was principal trumpet in the orchestra under Stephen Wilinski. He continued his Philadelphia-based education studying at Temple University and currently is the director of bands at his alma mater, Central High School. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Franchetti as he conducts Tarantella.
That piece was so fun. How many people recognize something familiar? The Itsy Bitsy Spider? I know, it's so fun. <laughs> so lucky for us, the band is not done. Um, before their final selection, we'd like to acknowledge the band members who are seniors. We will miss you next year. So uh, please stand up so that we can acknowledge you. Seniors. We hope you'll come back and visit us next year, wherever your musical travels take you. Um, and next, I'm going to acknowledge those who are members of the Pennsylvania Music Educators Association District 12 Band. Please stand. Congratulations. And now we turn it back to Dr. Cornette to finish our concert band program. We're just making a little instrument switch here from clarinet to bass clarinet. We have multi-talented students that can play multiple instruments here. So before, well, while I give them a moment to do that, um, I mentioned that this program, the way I've been thinking of it, is old, new, and timeless. And so the last piece that you heard, the Carol Britton Chambers Tarantella, and this next piece by Adolphus Hailstork, it's called New Weight in Water. These are both much newer pieces written in the last several years by living, breathing composers who are still with us. Um, and this next piece is based on a song that many of us might know called Wade in, Wade in the Water. And you're gonna hear kind of, um, kind of a, a variations on that very familiar melody with, with a little twist and turn here and there. So we hope you enjoy New Wade in Water.
Thank you so much. I, this is always such an appreciative, wonderful crowd to play for. Um, and again, I just want to say thank you for the opportunity to work with these amazing students over the course of these few months. It's one of the highlights of my year, and I also want to extend my thanks to Nathan Westner, Jake Chung, uh, Darren Lynch, all of the wonderful teachers in the Philadelphia School District who work tirelessly to make this event happen. Yes, you can please give them a round of applause. And I always want to say a special thank you to all of the family members, parents, guardians, friends, anyone who has helped guide these students along their musical journey, driven them to all of those rehearsals and performances, and you were there at the beginning when they perhaps didn't sound quite the way that they sound tonight. And so thank you for your support in their musical journey to get them to where they are tonight. And as promised, the last portion of our program is called Timeless. This piece needs no introduction. You will absolutely recognize it. Please enjoy.
at the top of the program, um, I gave a little teaser that we'll be joined by a very special guest host. Um, so at this time, I would like to introduce the school district's chief communications officer, um, and that is Monique Braxton. Please give her a round of applause as she enters the stage. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Wasn't that great? Let's give them another round of applause. There are 218 music teachers in the school district of Philadelphia. And to us, they're the best on the planet. They dedicate countless hours to our students, doing huge amounts of work behind the scenes for many months to uh, make a show like this simply superb. Next on our program is the Philadelphia All City Choir. This choir is one of the best in the city, and the students you see here tonight are a huge part of our legacy of vocal music education in the city. The Philadelphia All City Choir started 48 years ago, more than two generations ago. In 1975, under the direction of Wendell Pritchett. As many of you know, Mr. Pritchett graduated from Pennsylvania State University with degrees in music and a PhD in music education. He taught at West Philadelphia High School and conducted this very concert in the 1970s and the 1980s. The All City Festival has always been rooted in partnerships across the city. And under Wendell Pritchett's leadership, he partnered the choir with Opera Ebony. He was the head of the school district's music department before retiring in 1993. So this is what happened after his retirement. The baton was handed to Velma Simmons. Like Mr. Pritchett, Ms. Simmons also attended Temple University. Graduating with degrees in music performance and education, she also taught at West Philadelphia High School. She also became the head of the school district's music department. And under her direction, the partnership between the Kimmel Center, Philadelphia Orchestra, and the All City Festival flourished in the early 2000s. So I see all of you waving at your young people. Wave at them one more time. Everybody do it in unison. There you go. I know you're proud. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So you know they have to stand as distinguished musicians that they are. So during Ms. Simmons' tenure, the baton was passed to Darina Morrow. Ms. Morrow has had a very long tenure as the All City High School Choir Director, and she's taken the choir to new heights. Like her predecessors, she also graduated from Temple University and taught in the school district for 42 years. Let's give Ms. Morrow a round of applause. She has taught at the Philadelphia High School for Creative and Performing Arts, or CAPA as we call it. Under her direction, the All City Choir performed all over the city. She led the choir through the very difficult time when the city shut down for the COVID-19 pandemic. But she ensured that the program persisted, conducting virtual auditions and rehearsals and connecting with students on a much deeper level. So now we're on to tonight's program. We are very excited tonight to be here, to see this Philadelphia All City performance under the direction of Dr. Rollo Dilworth. <laughs> Dr. Dilworth hails from St. Louis, Missouri, but we're also keeping our fingers crossed tonight 
that he makes Philadelphia his second hometown. He has conducted 43 all-state choirs at various levels, six regional honor choirs, and four national honor choirs. Most recently, he has been a guest conductor internationally. He's quite the globetrotter. He's now the vice dean and professor of choral music education at Temple University's Department of Music Education and Therapy. In 2017, he received the University Faculty Award for Research and Creative Achievement. Join us as we show much Philadelphia love to Dr. Rollo Dilworth and the All City Choir.
What a wonderful way to begin the choir program. Now I would like to introduce Rosemary Schneider, assistant conductor of the All City Choir. She currently teaches at Philadelphia Performing Arts, a string therapy school, theory school. Music is our therapy, don't you all agree? Music is all of our therapy. Tonight is wonderful. A native Philadelphian and alumna of the Philadelphia High School for Creative and Performing Arts, or CAPA. Mrs. Schneider has been teaching for 19 years. In addition to teaching, she's also the conductor of the Teen Voices of the City Ensemble, also known as Tevoce, a free, inclusive choir open to any teens between the ages of 13 and 19. Let's welcome Mrs. Schneider as she conducts Can We Sing the Darkness to Light and Hashtag United We Dream.
introduce their program, I'd like to welcome Dr. Rollo Dilworth back to the stage. He's going to be conducting Way Over Angela Way.
So we have some very important people to introduce to you, and you're probably saying, why are they more important than our kids? Because they're the ones that made this program tonight possible. So let's thank our partners. Project 440 provides workshops and seminars on a variety of topics to help students develop the skills and leadership they will need as they pursue a college education and careers. Temple University Music Prep offers individual lessons and group enrichment opportunities for children and adults. Philadelphia Youth Orchestra Music Institute provides ensemble opportunities and music library support to supply the All City Orchestra with their concert repertoire. This year, they launched a jazz program led by renowned jazz drummer and our own distinguished All City alum, Justin Faulkner. We also want to thank Justin for hosting this year's concerto competition. Music Copia provides much needed instrument donations to the All City program <clears throat> and to many of our schools. Settlement Music School provides programs and instruction for all skill levels, starting with children as young as six months old and continuing into adulthood. Philadelphia Sinfonia Association supports the artistic development of young musicians all across the Delaware Valley by providing high-level ensemble experience in a supportive educational environment. All of these organizations collaborate with the Philadelphia Orchestra and the School District of Philadelphia through the Philadelphia Music Alliance for Youth, also known as PMA. It's an artistic initiative that supports young orchestra musicians from diverse backgrounds in their pursuit of becoming professional musicians. Other organizations who do provide ongoing support include the Primavera Fund and the Curtis Institute for Music. Let's give everyone a round of applause. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn the program over now to Danielle Allen. So now that Monique has told you about our amazing partners who support our all city students throughout the school year, I'd like to highlight a couple of the summer opportunities that we make available to these amazing students. First up is the All City Orchestra Summer, Acad summer Academy, uh, we like to call it ACOSA. It's a day camp held at the Mann Center in West Philly um, each July and it's open to all city high school and all city middle school students. Um, and it's done in partnership with the Philadelphia Orchestra teachers from the Network for New Music, and teaching artists from Project 440. The second summer camp is the Music and Mindfulness Summer Music Camp, a nine-day overnight camp held on a beautiful farm in Chester County. Through Don Liuzzi, former conductor of All City Orchestra and principal timpanist of the Philadelphia Orchestra, um, Philadelphia Youth Orchestra Music Institute, and Musicopia, many All City students receive an all-expenses paid, excuse me, scholarship to attend this camp. Um, so we're very excited to support our students in this very special way. And as um, our students are being seated, I have, I'm so honored um, to be working with all of these people, but it gives me great honor to introduce my colleague and friend, Joseph Conyers, who is our all city orchestra conductor and assistant principal bassist of the Philadelphia Orchestra. He's also the founder and vision advisor of Project 440 and a graduate of the world-renowned Curtis Institute of Music. Maestro Conyers has instituted many new programs to benefit our students, including the annual Music College Fair for all city students, established in the fall of 2017, the free all city orchestra summer music camp at the Mann Center that I just told you all about, and that was established in June of 2018, um, and we're happy to announce that it will expand in its fourth year this summer. Um, and Joseph has also provided a focus on developing important life skills for our student musicians. 
He serves as an invaluable mentor and musical role model for our students through Project 440. Um, and is just an overall amazing, indivi and an amazing individual who values the work that he does with our students. Um, so now, without further ado, I'm very pleased to welcome Maestro Joseph Conyers to the podium.
I'm glad you're standing. I want to take a moment to acknowledge our very talented concert master, Cyrano Rosentrader. Have a stand up, please. Let's give him a round of applause. He's so talented. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cyrano. So the All City Orchestra now welcomes one of its assistant conductors, Aileen Ramondo Jackson. <laughs> the teachers get a lot of love around here. <laughs> Mrs. Romano Jackson, Romando, excuse me, Jackson, is currently the orchestra director at Gerard Academic Music Program, better known as GAMP. <laughs> and she's a graduate of Drexel University and Temple University. Previously, she taught in schools around Philadelphia and coached the Musicopia String Orchestra and the All City Orchestra Summer Academy. She will lead the orchestra in L'Arlesienne Suite Number no. One. Let's welcome Aileen Ramondo Jackson.
We thought we better let the Miranda come out first so everyone doesn't end up on the floor with the podium. I'd like to introduce someone who knows people and has been an activist, assistant conductor Jason Chung. He's been a music teacher in the Philadelphia School District for 13 eventful years, a shining example of the quality of the music education of the school district and what we have to offer. So he knows people. Let me tell you what he's done. He has stood with former President Barack Obama and then Vice President Joseph Biden at a press conference. He has met with former Education Secretary Arne Duncan. You're asking why? Why? because he has advocated for music education in all schools. <laughs> Conductor Chung will lead the orchestra in Sejourne Concerto for Marimba and Strings. It's featuring this year's all concerto competition winners. But before we bring out the winners, I'd like to acknowledge the semifinalists. They're going to come up and stand, and I know you all been waving at people all night long. Please hold your applause until everyone's name is called. Jessica Howe, flute, Masterman High School, 11th grade. Morley Moore, violin, High School for Creative and Performing Arts, 12th grade. Emily Samuel Violin, Benjamin Rush Arts Academy, 12th grade. Amaya Tucker Violin, Central High School, also 12th grade. <laughs> Next, I'd like to acknowledge this year's All City Concerto Competition finalists. They're going to stand up as well. Hold your applause until after everyone's name is called, please. Jeffrey Bedford Clarinet, Philadelphia High School for the Creative and Performing Arts, 12th grade. Eric Lee Piano, Masterman High School, 11th grade. Anna Zhang, Bassoon, Central High School, 12th grade. And finally, I'd like to introduce our second and third place winners. Please hold your applause again. Third place winners, Anna Pratico, Piano, Masterman High School. Serrano Rosen Trader, Violin, Masterman High School, 10th grade. Second place winner, Chris G, Piano, Masterman High School, 11th grade. Congratulations to everyone. And we're excited to introduce the 2023 All City Philadelphia Concerto Competition winner, Tristan Boyer, a senior. Tristan is a senior at Masterman High School, currently studying percussion with Angela Zader Nelson, associate principal, timpanist of the Philadelphia Orchestra, and is planning to pursue a career in music. Let us welcome Tristan Boyer, our concerto competition winner, and Jason Chung, our conductor to the stage.
Oh my goodness, I was blown away. Thank you so much, Tristan, for that amazing performance. He is already, at his young age, an incredible musician um, and even more of an inspiration to his peers and the young musicians in this audience. Um, and we very much enjoyed that piece. I actually am looking forward to his career in music that I hope that we all can see unfold. So just amazing work. Before the orchestra's final selection, we'd like to acknowledge some very special orchestra members. First, our seniors in the All City Orchestra. Will our graduating seniors please stand? Next, we'll acknowledge the members of the Pennsylvania Music Educators Association District 12 Orchestra and Choir and Region 6 Orchestra and Choir and the Pennsylvania All-State Orchestra. Um, there was one admission, excuse me, omission from the printed program, so at this time we want to acknowledge Isabel Morales. Can all of those students please stand? PMEA students and the Pennsylvania All-State Orchestra students. Congratulations to you all again. You can now be seated. Um, so now, please welcome back to the stage Maestro Joseph Conyers to lead the All City Orchestra.
Hello, my name is Nathan Wessner, and I am the Director of Music Education for the School District of Philadelphia. Our all-city choir, band, and orchestra ensembles are supported year-round by the teachers in the district who helped coach, organize, and rehearse with our students to make all of this possible. Their de dedication and hard work is the glue that holds our programs together, and without them, none of these programs would be possible. At this time, it is my distinct pleasure to bring out the choir and the uh, band and the orchestra uh, teachers. We love our music teachers. <laughs> um, so earlier I told you about how the Philadelphia Orchestra is the lead artistic partner for the All City program. And as always, our orchestra is elated that we are here tonight hosting this amazing music festival. Um, our partnership with the School District of Philadelphia is one of our longest partnerships and one of the partnerships that most exemplifies our commitment to music education and arts education in general here at the Philadelphia Orchestra and Kimmel Center Incorporated. So we very much value all of the administrators and teachers and students of the School District of Philadelphia. Um, and we thank them because a lot of times, most times, their work goes unnoticed and unseen. Um, so we are so happy to be here celebrating all of them tonight. This is also the sixth year for the Philadelphia Orchestra's fellowship program. Um, so in partnership with Project 440, in September of 2016, we instituted this prestigious fellowship program. Through a rigorous audition and interview process, 11 of these All City Orchestra members are selected to receive free private coaching sessions and mentorship from members of our Philadelphia Orchestra. They also receive free tickets to our orchestra performances. So will the 11 students who auditioned and were selected as Philadelphia Orchestra All City Fellows please stand? We have Laura Lee Moore, Tristan Boyer, Calder Liam Burke, Anna Jung, Maya Lindsay, Amaya Tucker, Leilani Padilla, Nishan DeVos, Mandy Zhang, Alexander Stekety, and Jessica Howe. Another round of applause for these amazing students. They make us all so proud every day. So now for our final acknowledgments, I'm happy to introduce Dr. Frank Makos, Executive Director of the Office of Arts at the School District of Philadelphia. So did we have some fun tonight or what? All right, I have the wonderful privilege of closing out the night with some final thank yous. Um, most importantly, before we celebrate the musicians, can you please help me celebrate all of our teachers one more time? You heard them tonight, but it's a year round effort. It's also a very important aspect of what we do. You heard earlier, this is an over 70 year tradition. Since 1929, the All City High School Festival has been presented consecutively. And over the last few years, it's only gotten bigger and stronger. We have more arts in more schools than we have in over two decades. 
and we always want to recognize the, the heritage of that. So I know we have some retired music teachers with us in the building tonight. If you could stand or wave or anywhere where we could just celebrate and recognize you, please make a, a round of applause for our retirees. I want to personally acknowledge three who don't really understand what retirement means, so they're backstage, Miss Diane Danifelzer, Mr. Vincent Rutland, and Margie Keith. And a very special guest who I can see out of the corner of my eye um, for 10 years prior to, oh, here they are, let's give them one more round of applause. We have a, a very special administrator who was integral to All City becoming as big and powerful as it is as you hear it tonight. Uh, Dr. Dennis Creedon led the Office of the Arts for over 10 years, and without his leadership, guidance, advocacy, support, uh, we'd be in a very different place. So I want to make sure that we take a moment and ask him to stand and recognize Dr. Dennis Creedon. And our final retiree, I don't want to say is the most important because everyone's important, but the, the newest member of the retiree ranks, you may have had the, I'm going to get in a lot of trouble for what's about to happen, so just bear with me. But you might have seen around the fourth page of your program, uh, just a few short weeks ago, uh, a, 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 a never-ending piece of our Office of the Arts uh, finally earned her retirement after 43 years in the School District of Philadelphia, a career that started in 1979 that moved into the central office in 1982, and for over 20 years was the single person behind everything that happened in arts education. Every teacher that worked for the district called to this desk in this office, every ticket for all city, you name it, everything that needed to happen, happened because of this one incredible human being. We are just distraught that she has left us, so we're gonna try to get her to take the model from the other three backstage and come back and work a little more. But, I would really love if you would help me give an amazing round of applause and a standing ovation for Ms. Claribel Escobar, retired secretary for Office of the York. We call her Mamacita, and she still checks in on us and makes sure that we're doing everything. So I'm gonna close my remarks just with a final thank you to our friends from the Philadelphia Orchestra and the Kimmel Cultural Campus. Um, everything that has happened tonight has been a work of collaboration. Uh, two very important people, Ms. Clara Reyes, who you may not know, but she's touched everything that you have heard and seen over the last 12 months from tickets to stage plots, to chairs and stands. So, uh, Ms. Clara Reyes and Ms. Danielle Allen, if we can just step out so we can celebrate and recognize you very quickly. All right, and with that, we've made it to the finale. So I'm gonna bring our hosts one more time. Uh, one last round of applause and a special thank you to Ms. Monique Braxton, who recently joined the district, and we are thrilled to have her as a part of the All City family. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. I just talked to Frank, and he said he has been here all day. <laughs> Elementary school students were here this morning. There was a career fair here today. So let's give Frank another round of applause. For our final selection, known in some circles as the Jazz Hour, I'd like to introduce our special guest conductor, Nazir McFadden, a native son of Philadelphia, a graduate of the Philadelphia Public Schools, distinguished alumnus of the All City High School Orchestra, and several Philadelphia-based musical groups and youth orchestras, including the Philadelphia Music Alliance for Youth, PYO Music Institute, Temple Music Prep, 
and Philadelphia Symphonia. In 2017, Mr. McFadden conducted his own Philadelphia Orchestra in their pop-up series in 2017. Meeting music and artistic director Yannick Nazir Sagan, who's been a mentor of his ever since. He was the inaugural apprenticeship conductor of the Philadelphia Ballet Orchestra from 2020 to 2022. That means through the pandemic, y'all. Working with music director Patrice Jonah Afron, and then at the age of 21, just last year, he became the assistant conductor and Philip and Lauren Fisher community ambassador of the Detroit Symphony Orchestra. Through his work, he's committed to supporting and providing quality music education to every community he works with. Maestro McFadden is a shining example of the excellence of the Philadelphia School District, as well as the thriving music education ecosystem in the city. We are truly grateful that he's joining us tonight. The concert band and choir students are going to be joining the orchestra on stage for the grand finale, conducted by Maestro McFadden, leading the ensemble, You Will Be Found. Let's welcome everyone who's on stage now. Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere? Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall and no one would That lonely feeling wash away me Cause maybe there's a reason to believe you'll be okay Cause when you don't feel strong enough to stand You can reach, reach out your hand
crashing through when you need someone to carry you when you're broken on the ground. there left to say. Can we give these amazing students another well-deserved round of applause? Yes. We are all so very proud of everything that you've accomplished throughout COVID and what you've accomplished here tonight. Um, so I'll just end by saying thank you all for loving our students, for supporting our students. I know it takes a lot to get them to practices and all the other extracurriculars. So thank you to our parents, our teachers, our friends. Um, and come back to see us again here. Good night.